Well, this week we are recalling and remembering some of the stories of 2012. This evening we want to take a look at the most popular, the most clicked upon online. They're among the 15,000 stories that were posted to fox11online.com. And of course, people were more interested in some stories than others. That's true. No matter what the uh, medium it may be, Scott Hurley takes a look this evening at the five most popular online stories of 2012. In a year of odd stories, the fifth most popular on fox11online.com was one of the weirdest. In June, police pulled a car from the bottom of the Fox River in Green Bay. I just had to come and see it. You know, it's not every day they pull a, you know, 10 to 30 year old vehicle out of the river. It was a spectacle as the car, covered in mud and zebra mussels, surfaced. Police eventually determined the car was stolen from a Green Bay bar in 1979 and had been at the bottom of the Fox River ever since. That story received 42,698 page views this year. Coming in at number four was a story that warmed the hearts of many in Northeast Wisconsin and around the world. Travis and Acela Ullman, a pair of soldiers serving in Afghanistan, made a surprise trip to the Fox Valley to see their family. Words can't describe it. The emotional video is the most popular in the history of Fox11online.com, having been watched more than 600,000 times. The story itself got 43,063 page views. Another years old mystery from the deep was the subject of the third most viewed story. In August, scuba divers found the remains of one of their own in the waters of Lake Michigan in Door County. An Iowa man, Dirk Kane, disappeared while diving with friends in 1999. When his body was found, it was still covered with his diving gear. Because of the pressure and the depth that it's at, there isn't a lot of oxygen down there, plus the cold, and like a refrigerator, so it'll keep it quite a while. People clicked on this story 46,544 times. It seems fitting that in a year with six elections, an election-related story comes in at number two. A little-known state law came to light this year. It says you can't post a photo of your completed ballot. The law, designed to discourage buying people's votes, became an issue in this age of social media. I didn't know that that would be something somebody would even think about doing, but I suppose in this day and age that, you know, the different um, medias that uh, people are doing that. The story became popular when it was first posted in May before the gubernatorial recall election, and then people found it again before the general election in November. All told, it had 62,167 page views. Coming in at number one was an earth-shaking story. For days in March, mysterious booming noises plagued the people of Clintonville. Eventually, the U.S. Geological Survey determined that a series of earthquakes hit the area. They use the word swarm. This could be its own individual earthquake, so they don't make it sound like these are aftershocks like they talk about out west. And it was a swarm of website visitors who clicked on the story 134,772 times. You can take a look back at all these stories, plus see an interactive timeline of the top stories by month. That's at fox11online.com, mouse over Good Day Wisconsin, and click on Web Watch. Scott Hurley, Fox 11 News.